and welcome to today's episode. Huge shout out to Glossier for sponsoring today's video, but let me first get into what this video is about. So I get asked a lot, how do I manage stress with three kids being a single mom? How do I deal with it? And I would love to sit here and say that I handle stress really great all the time. That would not be the truth. And I've actually had to work really hard to figure out ways to de-stress and to understand where my stress is coming from and my anxiety and figure out plausible ways to combat that. So today I'm sharing with you guys a few of my favorite ways to de-stress um, and to kind of retrain your brain on how to slow down. It's easy to just rush through life and just get used to being constantly in a state of anxiety and stress. I know for me, it's, it's just been that way since becoming a single mom and um, just being in survival mode constantly, I just got used to being stressed out and it wasn't until I realized that I was constantly yelling at the kids and just really on edge that I had to step back and say like, whoa, what is going on? So one of the first ways I know for me that's helpful when I feel super stressed out and anxious is taking time for me. The first way I really like to de-stress and help when I'm feeling anxious and just out of control is pampering myself. Something as simple as taking a bath can be so calming and helping me deal with anxiety. Just taking a few moments for myself, it's become one of my favorite things to do. I also love to pamper my face and I've recently discovered Glossy's Milky Jelly Cleanser. You guys, this is a game changer. I love that you can use it on your skin wet or dry. It helps remove your makeup without stripping your face and it also just adds a ton of moisture in your skin. So it's definitely one of my go-to for pampering my face. I also am loving Glossier's Lash Slick. I love that the fibers on the brush really attach onto your lashes and help lengthen them without that cakiness that sometimes can happen. So if you're really wanting to pamper yourself, be sure to check out the Milky Jelly Cleanser and the Glossier Lash Slick. I will leave a link in my description box. Another thing that's really been huge to me with dealing with stress, in this area I'm just like, duh, why do I never think of this? Working out, even if I can't make it to the gym, just doing like a 10 minute workout in my office or stretching or doing something to move my body, going on a walk, instantly makes me feel better. And I'm just like the weeks that I don't work out, I'm like, what are you thinking? This is why you're so stressed out. Another aspect of life, and this might just be because of my somewhat OCD nature, when my house is in complete disorder, my brain is scrambled and I become a nervous wreck. Not to say that my entire house has to be clean all the time, but the spaces that I am in the most, if they are a wreck, I constantly feel on edge. Comment below if you can relate. So another way that I like to de-stress is decluttering one small area of my home, whether it's a bedroom or my living room, putting things away, making my bed. It's amazing how just those simple things can make the biggest difference. Um, another tip and another thing that I've really noticed helps if I can consciously do this is sitting down and journaling. Sometimes I journal like in my notebook and then sometimes I'll just type on my computer because it's just quicker and I have journal entries in there. Um, focusing on my highs and lows of the day, writing down things I'm grateful for and just sort of getting my thoughts out there. Um, one of my final suggestions for learning how to de-stress and dealing with anxiety is therapy. What? Um, that's a personal choice for me. I'm a huge proponent of therapy. I think that going to a professional and being able to talk through some issues, um, whether you think you have issues or not, I think it's just a mental checkup. Just like you go to the doctor for a checkup to make sure your body's healthy. I think the same should be said for mental health. Um, rather you go once a year or once a month or whatever it is, I think that it's just really helpful. Um, so that's been something I've added into my self-care routine and it has made a world of difference. I find myself less frustrated, um, also able to deal with some of the issues and things that I've gone through with my marriage ending and being a single mom. It's just things that you cannot deal with completely on your own. So I hope this video was helpful, you guys. Like I said, nothing mind-blowing. These are just a few things that have really helped me 
learn how to deal with anxiety, de-stress a little bit, and stay present. So comment below any tips you guys have that really help you, and let me know if you like videos like this. I'd love to do more of a series on this topic. So huge shout out to Glossy for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to head to the description box and check out the link glossy.com to shop the products that I've mentioned. Let me know what you guys think. They have made a world of difference for me, and I'm a huge fan, and I would love to know your thoughts as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye!